gonna make a date pecan bundt cake today. Now, some of you may not have ever had dates or you don't like dates. That's a shame because they're really a very delicious fruit. They're not very pretty. You can buy them this way, which are whole and the pits are taken out. It's kind of a long pit. Um, or you can buy them already chopped up. For our purposes today, we're gonna to use the already chopped up. These I'm gonna save for munching later on. So I need a cup of the of the uh, excuse me of the dates. Generous cup, a little over the top. And I'm going to put those in a bowl. And to them, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of flour. And the reason we're adding the flour is when we add these um, dates to the batter. They won't all sink to the bottom because they'll have they'll grab on with the flour around them. Okay, so there's our dates. We can put those aside. We also have a cup of chopped pecans. Now I need one and a half sticks or three quarter cup of room softened butter, three eggs room temperature, teaspoon of vanilla, one cup of sour cream, one and one half cups of regular white sugar and three cups of flour mixed with one teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda. So let's start off with our butter in the mixer. My oven, by the way, is heating to 350. And Bundt cakes take usually quite a bit of time to, to bake, so you know, close to an hour. So we'll start this off. And because the butter is room temperature, it creams very quickly. Now we will start adding the sugar. Just let that all come together. And we'll add the one teaspoon of vanilla. This is pure vanilla extract. It really does make a big difference. It's pure imitation. Okay, now we'll start adding our eggs one at a time. And this is the kind of a cake that keeps a long time. Even when it starts getting a little on the scale side, it's really still pretty good. Because it's got so much sour cream in it, it remains very moist. I want that to become very creamy. Okay, at this point, I'm going to add, if I can get my mixer bowl off, I'm gonna scrape it off so make sure all of that stuff is getting mixed in. I'm gonna put this back on because I didn't like that. that it was, big hunk of butter in there that wasn't quite blended in yet. And then we'll slowly start adding the flour. I'll add half the flour, all of the sour cream, and then half the flour. Okay, that looks a lot better. All right. Let's add half of our flour. Just eyeballed. A little more than. Hit the side of this to tap all the flour off the sides. Now this is our one cup or eight ounces of sour cream. And don't use the light sour cream here. You want to use the full, full fat sour cream. Blend that in. You can see this is not a difficult cake to make, but it's really, really good. And if you're not familiar with dates, this is a good way to start. Dates are very, very sweet and very chewy. Not like a raisin. Um, well, the texture is a lot like a raisin, but the flavor is much sweeter than raisins. Okay. Balance of our flour. Okay. 
And what I have is my bunt pan. And what I've done is I have heavily buttered it and floured it. You can use uh, one of the floured sprays. I don't always trust those, especially with a bunt pan because you've got all these grooves and, and notches in there. I like to get in there and, and grease it up myself. Just to make sure it really gets well greased. All right, that's pretty blended. I'm gonna start putting in the, pe uh, the pecans. It's one cup. And then the one cup of chopped floured dates. It's a nice buttery batter. I like that buttery batter. Okay, now into our pan and into our waiting oven. Big plops. One of my favorite tools, my offset spatula, which I just love these tools. You've got to get one of these. And then just spread it around. And I spread I kind of mound it up around the edge of the outside of the pan because the middle is going to mound anyway. And so this will make it come out just a little bit more evenly. All right, there's our batter in our pan. And I'm gonna put this pan on top of a cookie sheet that I've lined with foil. You don't have to do this, but I never trust that the cake might not flow over and I don't wanna to have to clean my oven up. I'd rather clean this one pan. Now, 350 degrees, approximately 50 to 60 minutes. I'll start checking it at 45 minutes and every five minutes after that until a, a toothpick comes out clean. So here we go, into the oven. Here's our bundt cake. I took it out of the oven after about 55 minutes. Just keep checking. Your oven may be cooler than mine, so you may have to leave it in more. But anyways, I left it in the pan for 10 minutes and then I turned it out onto this rack and I let it come completely to room temperature before I move on. If you wanted to, you could make a vanilla icing, a caramel icing, whatever kind of icing you want. But this cake is one of those cakes that's not a very sweet cake. So we're not gonna make it too much sweeter. We are gonna add some sugar, but we're not gonna add a lot of frosting. We're just going to put on some confectioner's sugar. Just a snow of it. And it looks so pretty. Now we're going to get a nice plate and slide this over. Don't worry, I'll clean up my counter later. And then I'm going to take a nice cut of this. I can't wait to bite into this. That, it's already falling apart. Mm. And I don't know if you can see but you can see the dates, the pecans, the cake is so tender. It's absolutely delicious. It's not very sweet. This is for those people that don't like very sweet things. Very, very delicious. I hope you try it. 